filing more court motions that he can't win. The worst kinds of negative attention can sometimes be brilliant for you. I remember when the Trayvon Martin thing happened. There was this guy who started making Trayvon Martin paper silhouette targets. Okay, <laughs> so imagine a picture of Trayvon Martin superimposed over like a silhouette pistol target that's got the you know the the zones of uh, of contact and stuff and different points for each one. A buck a piece, and he sold a million of them in like two fucking days. He, he, he knew the hate was there. He knew that there was a motivated uh, group of customers, and he took advantage of it in a really awful way. But today, he's still got, well, depending on how he invests his money, he's still got a million dollars, and nobody remembers that shit but me. Like, like come on. <laughs> you know, we talked about respecting the scam. <laughs> That's an opportunism I can kind of see the the value. It's like the response girls. Yeah. yeah. Wait, like, wait, wait, wait. You're more on board with this than response girls? I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty equal. I'm because, equal. Part of, <laughs> partially, partially because I don't think, I, I feel like Trayvon was equally at fault as, as George Zimmerman in that whole situation, at least. At um, least. I, I, it, to me, it never struck me as a thing. I never bought the narrative of the of the poor innocent guy who's been gunned you down. You did by too. This cycle. You bought it right on the show. Yeah, you saw. Oh, him, at first you saw the twelve year old picture of him in the Hollister hoodie, and you're like, it was a Hollister. He looked like a is it a cherub face? That's not racist, yeah. is it? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, cherub. I have no idea. But it, an he was this <laughs> angelic, childlike Hollister, whatever, right? And and meanwhile, he's on Facebook with like diamond teeth. Whole Holding guns and shit, but uh, thug life. But um, they grabbed this picture of him as a kid and made him look like that's who just got shot. He well, was... Once I knew all the facts. Once I knew all the facts, I I, I I I didn't think that either of those individuals were good people, and I didn't. I felt like it was way too murky to say uh, confidently that Zimmerman was an outright bad guy who did something wrong and deserved to go to jail. That's how I felt about the whole thing. I didn't like either of those individuals, and I thought they were both probably bad people. But yeah, the idea of making those targets and making a million dollars off of it, like... I didn't know I mean, Zimmerman what? was bad until months later. Like, I thought it was a justified shooting, right? Like, he, he was kind of following a guy around acting like a cop, but he was, like, in charge of Community Watch, and that's kind of what you do, kind of. And um, then this, like, Zimmerman didn't initiate the fight, and he was getting his ass kicked. There was, like, a question as to whether or not he was getting his ass kicked. I guess he outweighed him, Trayvon Martin and stuff. No, Trayvon Martin was way more athletic, varsity football, and Zimmerman's face was bloodied... The Fuck up. He looked like he was in yeah, the UFC back of fighter. his head was like all bloody. The back of his head was bloody because table. he was getting his ass kicked on asphalt. And and that's the pounding it was taking. And uh and then while that happened, he pulled out his gun and killed him. That's I mean, if you forget which is a big thing, how he didn't like retreat from the situation initially, he sort of followed him. Um, that's the definition of a good shooting, right? If if Trayvon had just started that and got in that position and then he shot, everyone would be like, dude, good shooting. No story All right, well, here. I'm glad you signed off on this because I was waiting to ask if you wanted to uh, be part of a very exciting new investment. Mm. Um, we're going to be making targets of, of a different shooting victim every week. Um, it's going to be like a loot crate system where you never know who you're going to get. <laughs> you know, one week it's a little white kid that a cop shot, some 16-year-old with, with an ounce of pot, got gunned down in South Carolina. That's our target this week. And next, it'll be something new every week. That'll be good. I think you know, Kyle, if I we just this, like sell victims of police shootings network? that we can will, sell them to police. Well, you licensed the idea to me, Taylor, since you came up with it first, and then we could work out some sort of profit You know, the handy thing about my, my licensing is that there's no upfront fees, and I'll offer you promotion and graphics. So, Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, Graphics work is what I need. That was the, that was the problem. I've been doing All it right. since a year before YouTube was around. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve years. <laughs> anyway, yeah. That Trayvon Martin thing for me is like, this is so far in the past, it's weird to even talk about now. But I was, yeah. I was like Kyle, where I was hook, line, and sinker, like, this guy was just trying to kill a black kid. Like, this is bullshit. This first, uh, Hispanic yeah. that we're pretending is a white guy, you know, Oh, it's so so out of control. And then the more information that came out, the more I was like, oh, ew. And mm -hmm. I, I kind of feel like a dick for just jumping right into it like that. I don't know. This story is so old for me that I can't recall everything. You know who I instantly thought I know that. I, I don't think I agree. But yeah. Remember the, CBS News edited the, the 911 tape. That was the big uh, one. That's what I think. That I think, was huge. Um, was it CBS for sure? Or yeah. And they edited it to sure. say uh, coon instead of cold. <laughs> no, do you remember that? I don't yeah. remember that. I do remember that they edited... They they like it's a black guy, but they but you did they get removed the, the part was 
is it a black guy? Like, yeah, yeah. You know, or, or the question yeah. was something like so, that. So the, so the audio log, the original audio log goes something like this. 911 operator says, what does he look like? Is he a black guy or a white guy? And he responds, he's a black guy. He looks, he looks like he shouldn't be here. He's wearing a hoodie. And, but, but then they edit it, and, and she's just like, well, what's going on, sir? And he's like, it's a black guy. He shouldn't be here wearing his hoodie. White power, white power. And then you could just hear like that old-timey Hitler music playing in the background. They really butchered him. They, it <laughs> that editing. See, like a lot of this stuff you can almost get away with not. You know, like, uh, accidents happen. Oh, you just, that's in your own head. The editing, as a guy who's edited plenty of audio, like, I, dude, that is 100% intentional. It is fairly difficult to edit a conversation and not have it sound like a jump cut, right? Mm -hmm. That only happens if you're, if you intentionally do that, which obviously they did. So, yeah, um, yeah they, they intentionally made the pacing sound natural, even yeah. though it's edited. Yeah, it was dude. a, it's terrible, terrible thing. Super hard. Well, I'm, I'm really glad three white dudes have signed off on this shooting. Yeah, it's <laughs> we all good all now. It's all good now. now. Yeah, I can't believe the three of you did that. It's crazy. Well, yeah, they... I know. The three of you guys are going to get <laughs> some hey, backlash on this. And 12 Floridian <laughs> jurors agreed with us, and that's all that matters. <laughs> oh, well, if the standard is Florida, then fuck <laughs> me. Yeah, it absolutely <laughs> I think, is. I don't know. I mean, once again, I, it, it's been such a long time, and I have to talk about everything every day, but... I don't know. If, if, if you have a gun, you throw yourself into a situation, there's a bunch of different ways things could have gone down. If I saw a guy with a gun and I thought he was going to kill me, and I'd try to start taking swings at him because I think that's my only way out, I don't know. could have gone down different ways. Yeah. It could have. Yeah. And I don't it know. went down the worst possible way. Well, I, don't, I, I don't mean the results. I, I don't mean the results. I mean the, the way that uh, it, the way we got to the result, right? Because you guys are talking about it like it's definitely in stone, and I don't know. That's it doesn't yeah. seem like that. Legally, it doesn't seem like there is enough to put him away for it because there was enough evidence that he was defending himself. But it, it does it doesn't feel right that he just got off, you know, which I guess his life is pretty much ruined from it. So he's I been in like two or three little mix ups with the law since. Like there was one That's time where it true. seemed yeah. like he saved a woman in a car accident. And you were like, oh, George Zimmerman is like a Superman. He's going around shooting criminals and saving white women. We like this guy. And then all of a sudden it was like, oh yeah, and then he domestic abuses these women and throws bottles at them and stuff. And he's he's way, he's brandishing his gun, talk, threatening his girlfriend. Who among us doesn't stuff. throw the occasional bottle and point the gun? Oh, I, <laughs> I, I would be, I would actually be interested in what his his net worth is because wasn't he? Didn't he do like that artwork that sold for crazy yeah. bank? So he's been really? smart. So so he does appearances at these gun shops that are like you, you hear about these gun shops that have like a no Muslim policy. Or, you know, they'll make the AR-15s with, uh, like, a crucifix on them so the Muslims can't shoot them and stuff like that. He'll go to places like that and do appearances. Like, come on down. Jim wait, Bob's wait. Gun shop. Me. So, so the Muslims can't shoot them? Yeah, yeah. Do, make, they think, do they think Muslims are vampires? What the fuck are these? So, uh, okay, what? so what they'll do is on the, on the grip of the AR-15, they'll put, like, a crucifix and, like, a Bible verse or something like uh, that. So that and, it burns uh, their hand when they try and <laughs> It won't burn their hand, but, they, but, but, but you know, if, if they're abiding by, uh, by their rules, you know, they won't want to grab them. I think it spikes tactical. Uh, it's the same people who made my Doom buggy. Uh, I, I think they're the ones who do it. Did, they should of course, etch, the people uh, who... like, a, a silhouette of two men kissing so that hyper-conservatives can't shoot. <laughs> it's like oh jesus christ you know adam and steve right on the handle <laughs> you should, to, as a, a safety mechanism should be a little dildo that comes out of a stock that you have to suck while you shoot yeah. <laughs> that's the all the gun control you'll ever need <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> fuck you guys <laughs> like nobody wants